On our journey to the north, when we had the pleasure of seeing you at Ormerswaite, Wade, we visited Mrs. Metten near Leeds. Being about to show her the smoothing experiment on a pond near her house, an ingenious pupil of her, Mr. Jessop, then present, told us of an odd appearance on that pond which had lately occurred to him. He was about to clean a little cup in which he kept oil and he threw upon the water some flies that had been drowned in the oil. These flies presently began to move and turned round on the water very rapidly as if they were vigorously alive. Though on examination he found they were not so. I immediately concluded that the motion was occasioned by the power of repulsion and that the oil, issuing gradually from the spongy body of the fly, continued the motion. He found some more flies drowned in oil with which the experiment was repeated before us. And to show that it was not any effect of life recovered by the flies, I imitated it by little bits of old chip and paper cut in form of a comma when the stream of repelling particles issued from the point made the comma turn round the contrary way. This is not a chamber experiment, for it cannot well be repeated in a bowl or dish of water on a table. A considerable surface of water is necessary to give room for the expansion of a small quantity of oil. In a dish of water, if the smallest drop of oil be let fall in the middle, the whole surface is presently covered with a thin greasy film proceeding from the drop. But as soon as the film has reached the size of the dish, no more will issue from the drop, but it remains in the form of oil, the size of the dish putting a stop to its dissipation by prohibiting the further expansion of the film.